What's up guys, I'm Tonic here, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we stepped foot again in the Temple of the Ocean King, and got our asses kicked by the Swift Phantoms, which are these new phantoms uh, that just appeared somehow, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we found a new path because uh, putting the Triforce on this door gave us a new path. And, uh, I failed miserably. Um, ran out of time, but, uh, off screen, I actually got it with 4 minutes and 36 seconds to spare. So, that's pretty good. And, uh, now we're gonna move on. So, now we have, like, a pedestal. I really hope that we never have to go back here again. And we got the southeastern sea chart from this. Which only has two islands, okay. Uh, one which seems like it's surrounded by some sort of ice barrier. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, now you can explore a new area of the sea. Okay. You did it. A new sea chart. Now we can explore new areas of the sea. Come on, Nick. Time's running out. Wanna head to the surface? Yes. Okay, now of course that appears. Yeah. I have a feeling that Celia, Celia, whatever our fairy's name is, has some type of power that she's not telling us to get through the Temple of the Ocean King. I'm going to stock up on arrows and bombs there, and now let's head out. I also got a lot of rupees too, so I probably should spend them on something. Don't really know what, but we'll check the shop. And, yeah. Hopefully there's like some treasure charts or something like that. Alright, Crow, you can stop following me now. <laughs> okay. So, which one's the shop again? This one? Yeah, okay. Is it- wait, is this a shop? Oh, this is... No, this is just to uh, sell stuff. Actually, I can sell something, I think. Because I think I have two of the same- yeah. I do have two of the conning towers, so I'll sell one of those, which is always good. And I think my stamina actually increased because my ship seems like, um, I don't know if I showed this on, on screen, if I did it off screen, but my ship has two matching parts, so maybe it has more stamina? I don't really know. But uh, yeah, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I, don't, I, I really can't tell. Uh, I didn't get to read the first line, but perfect. I'll bet somewhere along among those islands are the pier metals we seek. Let's take out, or let's take to the waves, Nick. Oh wait, actually, I forgot. Never mind. I have to <laughs> go to the shop. Thing I wanted to do. Is this a shop? Yes, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, what do you have? I'll buy one of these, I guess. How much is it? Five hundred? Yeah, whatever. Got a power gem. I think I can actually go to uh, that area to upgrade my fairies or whatever. Hopefully that's the case. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and head out. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's any treasure nearby. Hopefully there is. Let's see, uh, Jolene, okay. Uh, there's treasure over there, on the left. Actually, let me see if I, I'll do that. Actually, no, because then I have to head back. Yeah, it's a little annoying, whatever. We're just going to go southeast, whatever. Uh, okay, our stamina did not increase, unless it's just the speed. Because my health is still the same. Ah, I messed that up. So I guess that's the way to increase health, or maybe it's increased speed, I don't know. I think the ship parts is just for looks, but I may be wrong. Uh, okay, so we have Traveler's Ship, Isle of Frost, and Goron Island. Oh, we got to meet the Gorons, nice. I was wondering where those guys were. They weren't even uh, in, uh, what's it called? They weren't in, uh... Wind Waker either. 
neither were the Zoras. They were the, instead we had this these flying creatures or whatever they're called. Oh, what? Okay, we're getting shot at. Where? Yeah, take that. Yeah, you better not mess with me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so here it is, right here. It looks like a giant turtle. Or a giant Goron's face. Like those are two eyes. It looks like Crabble or whatever his name is. Pokemon. Wow! What in the world is this? Are you serious? Whoa! That was crazy. Who did that cyclone thing think? Who did that cyclone think it was, anyway? The engine is soaked. We're stuck. Uh, hang on. Does something feel odd to you? Ugh! Look, kid. Um... What is that disgusting thing? Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. And at a time like this, this day couldn't get any worse. Okay, but we need to face up to it, Nick. Monster like that? Who knows how to deal with it? Maybe. Oh, fire! 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 Rock! 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 <laughs> and fire some more. Yeah, as long as you keep shooting, we just might survive this. I'll man the machinery. You just aim and fire. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot at him, that's what I'm... This isn't good though, because I'm not, I'm not uh, like max health or whatever. I guess I have to shoot his projectiles too, because that's what hurt me the last time. Okay, we dodged that one at least. Oh, we got our health back though, somehow. I don't know how we got our health back, but I'm not complaining. Oh, I guess we have to, like, shoot, like... Oh, shooting the projectiles gives us stuff. Okay. Uh... Where's his other eye? Oh, there it is. Nice. And he's dead. He just flops. He just, like, uh, He just dies. Okay, he had enough energy to do that, but he just flops in the water beforehand. Wow, how did we do that? We set it, we sent it to the bottom of the sea, Nick. And hey, the engines had a chance to dry out. So let, our, so let, so set our course. Let's go. I can't read. <sighs> okay, so let's go back to Goron Island Part Two. I guess I don't know. This is just becoming stupid now. Yeah, it seems like the Isle Frost is where we need to go, but it's protected by something, so yeah. Hey, look at the map. No houses. I wonder if there is any pure metal here. Ha! Amateur. Places like this always have treasure stowed somewhere. Fine, then. You supposedly have a nose for this, so... We'll follow your instincts. Can't say if it's pure metal we'll find, but whatever we scrape up, it's all mine. I'm chewing on Osu's, er, the Ocean King's offer, Nick. He'll grant any wish that I whip up, but what, what would you wish for? I'm curious. Treasure, right? Oh, or maybe you'd wish for three more wishes. Linebeck. You don't understand Nick at all, do you? He's doing this for Tetra, for the Ocean King, and to bring peace to the seas. Hmm, you're sort of a good guy, Nick. Wow, that was out of character for me, wasn't it? Bleh, go on. Get out of my sight and fetch some of that, of that pure metal. Wow, well that was weird. Linebuck must have eaten something funny. Whatever, Nick. Let's go look for that pure metal. Here I was thinking, okay, we're gonna follow Linebeck and just do what he wants or whatever. Nope. It's just, he's gonna sit back on the ship again. Uh, okay, we got another shop here, which is cool. Uh, you're not Goron. Welcome to the only store in Goron Island. Yeah, well, uh, you're not Goron. Wait, does it give me more arrows? It's a quiver. You'll be able to hold, to carry more arrows. A thousand rupees, though? Why is this stuff so expensive? 
We got bomb shoes, which is cool. Ten bomb shoes for fifty rupees. That's that's a good deal. Cause I don't even have those. But I don't think I can carry them then. Ten hours for ten arrows for fifty though. That's not good. That's not a good deal. I'm sorry. That's not a good deal. Come back when you have a better deal for me. Like, I don't understand why that's not out of business. You have to put your foot on Goron Island, outsider. Make yourself known to all. We Gorons are proud, and we do not play with strangers. Gee, thanks. Feel welcomed here. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's inside here. How unusual. We rarely see off-islanders here, outsider. We have put your foot into... You have put your foot into a Goron home which we carve out of solid rock. We find them cozy since they stay cool in the summer and warm in winter. Alright, we'll see ya. <laughs> I love the Goron theme though. Pretty cool. Have you ever heard of something called a store? We finally have one here. If you lose your shield, you can then you can pick up a new one out there, outsider. Uh, they weren't selling it, so... I don't know what store you're set you're talking about. Also, she's an outsider because she's not going. Right, I guess we'll visit every home. What do you have to say? Your face is unknown to me, but I feel fine sharing words with you. And I will share something about our chief. He loves to play question games. Furthermore, he asks questions that dwell upon the many details of our island life. Alright, here, I'll feed you a rock. There you go, you hungry? <laughs> yeah, Gorons eat rocks. I don't know why, but that's how they do it. I'm not joking. Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Thank you. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she was, she were only mine. What? You have heard that somewhere else? Doubtful outsider. Wow, these people are just like discriminating me. I don't feel welcome at all. Your face is new to me, outsider. Have you come from the ship? My father is staring at it. That bothers me. If only someone would tell him. Okay, um. Pfft. Why do I hear something electrifying? Maybe it's upstairs? I don't know. There's a lot of houses here, wow. <sighs> you there, I have some useful information for you, brother. Give a shout to the guy nearby when crossing right here. Alright, well thanks for the tip, I guess. Where is it? Right here? Okay. I think we're good. Remember to let your voice bellow, brother. Shout to him like you mean it. <laughs> Imagine some kid just like playing this like at school or whatever. He's like, ah, ah. <laughs> and then like, they're like, what's wrong, Billy? It's like, oh, I, I just need to get across to um tell my Guam brother to cross through the sky. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know who you are, outsider, but I'm glad to see you. There are some strange creatures on that cliff. Be sh make sure to go. Make sh please make them go away. Again, I can't read. All right, sir. I'll do just that because apparently I'm a slave in this. What is that? Oh, that's just an arrow. Okay. Is that all you want? Oh, okay. Wait, where are they? Oh, they're up there. Well, I would kill them if I could get to that, but. I don't know how to, so... Can't help you there. Alright, let's see what's over here first. Bunch of pots. Don't really need them. Alright, well, I guess let's shout then. In order to cross... Oh yeah, we didn't go here, actually. Oh, there he is. Hey! Hey! Yo! 
Okay, it worked. <laughs> you want to come over here, outsider? I'll put the bridge out for you. No, it worked. Okay. Screaming into my Wii U gamepad. Or for most people, into their DS. To get across. What do you have to say? You are an off-islander. We do not share words easily with strangers here. Because we discriminate, you are a slave <laughs> in this island. Uh, and so I surely cannot tell you that our elder's house is up there. Well, you just told me, so thanks. Alright. Uh, a bunch of dots. That's good. Alright. Let's visit this house, I guess. Hey, buddy. Do you know the big Goron secret outsider? What we call our islands Goron Amber is actually. On second thought, it is too soon for you to know, outsider. <sighs> These people. These fucking people. <laughs> Alright, what the hell? This looks like a snake. Oh, uh, there's definitely something over here, though. A red whoopee. That's cool. Um, nothing over there. Why do they put dots over here? Oh, yo, he be blocking every move I do. Hey, little stranger, you are no Goron. Only members of the Goron tribe can go through here. So, non-slave people? Is that what you're telling me? Okay. Let me talk to your elder. You have entered the ho the home of the Elder Goron, the leader of our proud tribe. I'm his son, Gon Goron. Wow, what a name. <laughs> we do not take kindly to off-islanders, stranger. Yeah, of course you don't. I'm Big Goron, Elder of the Silent... What are these names? No wonder your father named you that, because you're he's we got Big Goron, and what was your name again? I already forget, Go Goron, something like that? I don't know. Oh, so it is pure metal that you seek, outsider. That is a potent Goron symbol. I will speak of it no further to an outsider. You must first become a member of our tribe if you wish to learn more. So make yourself known to each and every Goron. Then we will speak again. I just did. I literally just did. Have you made yourself known to each and every Goron outsider? Hmm, it appears not, so I am not yet convinced that... You want to join our tribe. What? I talked to literally every Goron already. Who did I miss? Who did I miss? I literally only missed probably one. I talked to him. Who did I miss? I'm honestly confused. Was it this guy? I surely cannot tell you that our elders how- Yeah, I know how to use- I talked to everyone! Do I have to talk to everyone again? Oh, do I have to talk to you? Now you can cross any time if you, you want. No toll, of course. Is that what? You, is that all I need to do? Just talk to that guy? I'm confused on who I missed. Because I literally talked to everyone. Wow. Well then. Apparently I have to talk to every Goron again because... Apparently I talked- I didn't talk to everyone. Um, let me know which one I missed in the comments below, cause... Big Goron, you're gonna be... Squish Goron. Yeah. Clever, right? Cause those are some clever names. Anyway, uh, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more... Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass right here on Telnick. Bye.